said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. True. 
If you have your Bibles today, turn to John chapter 9 and verse 51. John 9, 51. Excuse me, John 8, 51. I'm sorry. John 8, 51. It's not 51 in 9. John 8, 51. Jesus said, now this is Christ, the Son of God, talking. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never see death. That's a promise from the Son of God. If a man keep my sayings, he shall never see death. Now the death that Christ is talking about is the eternal separation from God. Now, you remember what God told Eve in the Garden of Eden. If you eat of this tree, ye shall surely die. Well, she ate, but she didn't die. She went and talked to her husband. He ate, and he didn't die. The physical death that we know as death, but he died spiritually. The moment... Her teeth bit into that fruit. Really before then, but, but the moment her teeth bit into that fruit, her soul was separated from God. She had transgressed against God. She had violated his commandment. Then when she talked to her husband, he listened to her, and he sinned. And because of that sin, the Bible says that he, his soul was eternally separated. His children's soul, the curse that day, and if you study the Bible, we are living under that curse. You were born under the curse, which means eternal separation from God. Now, we all know that we're going to die. Every one of us know that at some point in time, this old physical body, should we live? You know, long enough that this whole physical body is going to get wore out and it's going to die. But the soul of man never dies. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Many joining by television have no earthly idea. Now, this congregation knows the majority about what I'm talking about. But the congregation, you have to remember, by television don't know. They don't know that you have to be born again. They don't know that the soul of man never dies. You see, when God formed Adam... He formed him out of the dust of the earth. He took the dust of the earth and he made man. And he says he breathed into his nostrils. He breathed. God's eternal. The breath of God is eternal. So when he breathed into that dust, he breathed eternal life into that dust. Eternal. So if, if you obey God and you're born again, you have eternal life with Christ Jesus. If you disobey God and you serve flesh, you have eternal damnation with Lucifer. But the soul is never going to die. Your soul, whether you're good or bad, whether you're pretty or ugly, your soul is going to live forever. You can either live with Christ throughout all ages or you can live with Lucifer in the lake of fire. God gives us that. But Jesus tells us right here, he says, 